here. Welcome to In the Kitchen on STL TV. I'm your host, Angela Hockman, and I am so excited for today's episode because alongside me are two of the owners of Terror Tacos. I have got brothers, Bradley and Brian, joining me today. What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, awesome. There's a lot going on in front of me. So you guys, we're making two things today. What are we going to make first? It's our tofu terror taco. So mm. it's a, it's actually a cilantro lime tofu that oh we gosh. marinate. Uh, Music and then the, to my ears. The second item is a burrito oh. that we <clears throat> put on our menu a while back. Uh, it is a buffalo tofu burrito. Uh, with lots of really crazy ingredients in it, so. One thing we absolutely need to mention is this is a purely vegan establishment. Yes, it is. With, you know, a little mix of horror and <laughs> we also like heavy metal a lot at Terror Tacos. So you guys, how did this concept come to be? Well, it was during the pandemic. Um, a little bit of insanity, I guess. The two of us, we live very close to each other, so. Um, hanging out one night, drinking whiskey, I think, something like that, and we decided to go for this. We've talked about it for a while, um, so we just figured now was a good time. I know it sounds really weird to do it during a pandemic, but you know, um, we liked our, our, our concept and everything we felt like was, um, would be conducive to what was going on in the world, you know, heavy carryout menu and small staff and, uh, we just ran with it. So you started in 2021 as a carry out only. Mm -hmm. We're kind of like, we're going nuts at home here during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're brothers, we must get along very well in order to go into business yeah. together, <laughs> or hopefully you do. Yeah. Um, and now you are a full blown restaurant, you are dining and you have a full bar. What? Yes. Incredible, yeah. congratulations. Thank like you. imagine what else you can do. That's only been in one year you've accomplished that. Anyway, I think we need to get cracking with this taco. All right. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. I got you. So I'm gonna get some oil on here. First thing we'll okay. need to do is we're gonna get our tofu and our fajita veggies. Oh, yum. As the co-owners, do you two conceptualize the menu? Cause it is wild. I mean, things you never thought should <laughs> ever go in a burrito or taco show up at Terror Tacos. Yes, we do. Both of us have uh, quite a bit of cooking skills, I guess you could say. A lot of home cooking. Um, I've, I've worked in restaurants uh, for a while, so we, we definitely both like to play around with food and do some weird stuff, so. What about you, Brian? Do you have a culinary background, or are you just like? Uh, I have a lot of restaurant experience, but it's almost sure. all uh, front of house. This is a vegan restaurant. Are one or both of you, or none of you, vegan? I'm vegan. Okay. Um, Bradley's vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so how have carnivores responded? Oh, uh, actually, that's been the coolest thing about Terra Tacos. Um, I would say that our most enthusiastic fans are straight up meat eaters. Oh, they I love, love that our food. so much. When you and can trick a carnivore, you know, you're like, <laughs> I am doing this right. It, it, that's been one of the coolest things. And honestly, the best compliment is when someone that uh, has literally no desire to be vegan, mm -hmm. Um, just loves the food so much, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it's incredible, and you guys, you're so eclectic. And it seems as if you've opened a place, I don't know, that you both would probably want to hang out anyway. Am I on to something right. here? Right, nah, that was exactly it. We didn't want to do anything super crazy outside of what we felt comfortable with. So, you know, we both are into horror movies and death metal, and so Who we're isn't? like, hey, horror movie, death metal <laughs> restaurant, that's Fun what it's gotta be. <laughs> so, it's pretty simple. So wait, is it true that there is neon blood on the walls? Uh, yeah. It's okay. Pink, uh, bright pink blood That's drips. Pretty. Yeah. And <laughs> you also have, so you got the music blasting, mm -hmm. okay, there's that. But you also have silent horror movies showing. I love that mm -hmm. compliment of loud and quiet together. Well, we do sometimes also have like a movie night, so we'll actually uh, have the movie, the sound from the movie playing from time to time we've done. In October, we did um, a Nightmare on Elm Street night. We oh. had uh, Friday the 13th. We've done a couple of um, Rocky Horror Picture shows at the restaurant. I see that so. being very fitting. Yep. How did you choose to move into the South Grand area? That's, I mean, you got Steve's Hot Dogs, you got Rooster, lots of friends of the show. Why did you choose that area? Well, South Grand has a lot of, I mean, a lot of culture around it, a lot of history mm -hmm. around South Grand. So we definitely were eyeing that, but also didn't hurt that there's already 
some established vegan and vegetarian places. So anytime you talk to anyone in the vegan vegetarian community, South Grand is really like, it's like the mecca of our area. Yeah. Um, we get a lot of people that travel from out of town and stop in and they're, they always say that, like we found this neighborhood with like all these options. You know, we don't have that where we come from. So yeah. it's, it's just a big part of, you know, the identity of, of the area. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think so. you really nailed it, Bradley. People don't have to feel like they're inconveniencing a waiter by wanting to order vegan. You know, it's mm -hmm. like people feel comfortable and accepted and invited to just be themselves. And it sounds like that's who you guys are. Yeah. Trying. Yeah. No, you guys are succeeding. Um, let's talk merch for a minute. Can one purchase these great shirts you both have on? Usually, yeah, but we're kind of sold out right now, so we're in the shirts middle of Shirts off boarding. your back. No, but they, you, we usually do have uh, plenty of merch in the restaurant, so. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. How are the tacos coming, my friend? They are coming along. So oh, we, I'm actually going so to um, what we call terrorize our tacos. Whoa, uh, so <laughs> what does that mean? Basically, we're gonna make a double-decker taco uh, so it's, we're going to use a flour tortilla and a, a corn tortilla uh, just to give it an extra layer. Um, I brought some of our house-made terror sauce. It looks uh, like it's not for the faint of heart. It is. is that it's a little spicy. With a glass of water, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're cooking this at home, you know, any, any hot sauce uh, will do. Uh, you know, double layer tacos are great because you can put all kinds of ingredients in absolutely, between. And, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, get really creative with it, so. How close are we? This smells so good. I wish people could smell <laughs> what's going on. But if they hang out outside your spot on Grand, I'm sure they can get a flavor yeah. for it. Yeah, we are just about finished here. I love that. Why did you choose to go with two tortillas in case one breaks? Uh, no, just, I mean, it's a different, for it's a textural thing. Uh, it also makes the taco a little bit more filling, you know. And I really love carbs too, so I think it's <laughs> totally okay to do that. Oh my gosh! So okay, we'll get this over is it here. almost time? Yeah. Sorry, I'm like hovering all up in your business. I'm gonna get popped with some oil in a minute, but it'll be worth it. Wow. What would you say your most popular item is? Um, we have a kind of a unique taste uh, take on birria tacos, and that's definitely our biggest seller. Um, it's a little bit different than your traditional style birria taco. Um, they're pretty large, um, and the shell is made with, it's a half corn, half flour shell, so it's got a slightly different texture. Oh my. Um, but, and it's made with our house made seitan. Uh, so that's uh, con consistently our, our number one seller. Okay, um, okay. We, There's but, probably a reason that's at the top of your menu. Yes. Number one, I was like, oh, that <laughs> looks good. We'll okay. get some uh, cabbage. And then, uh, I like that you're featuring all the colors of the rainbow. Some, uh, Are we just jumping some in? Some cheese, yeah. And go then for the, it. this is it, because I yeah. gotta take a bite before <laughs> you guys do. Yeah. <laughs> so we we make our own cheese at the restaurant. Oh. <clears throat> but, what do we have uh, here? We wanted to bring some some store bought cheese. I know cheese. You know, for me, uh, it's just one of those things that oftentimes uh, vegan cheese just doesn't really. It does not. It just doesn't really make yep. a good it doesn't <laughs> substitute. Doesn't as easy as they say it, it does. Doesn't, or taste. Um, but there are a few brands that are that are getting really close, in yeah. my opinion. So we wanted to bring that. You know, there are options at the store that are finally getting there. So. I totally get it. Well, when we come back from break, we are going to jump into these and we are going to get started with a burrito that's probably the size of my head. So <laughs> don't go anywhere. We will be right back with Terror Tacos. Welcome back to In the Kitchen. When we left off, the brains behind Terror Tacos and I were making our Terror Tofu Tacos that look absolutely amazing. Uh, but we're making another item as well. What's cooking? So we're gonna make a burrito. This is called the Ripley Burrito. Uh, it's actually a, an alien reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're really excited to do it because we're actually using red hot riplets for this, which is another. Oh 
St. Louis local. So I'm telling you, you guys <laughs> find the coolest ways to team up with other <clears throat> local businesses. Okay, so let, let's get started on this because that got me thinking. <laughs> like All I right. want to eat everything in front of me. I'm gonna need some of the rice. Okay. And we're gonna get our tofu in here. That looks like it's got a little kick to it, am I right? Definitely <laughs> does, yes. And any particular rice that you use? Uh, I like uh, basmati rice. Mm -hmm. uh, Me too. Just, it doesn't really uh, get mush, you know? You can flavor it with different broths. Um, it's a very good cooking rice. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna mix Definitely. it. Definitely. So tell me this. Don't get big heads, but you guys have a ton of positive mentions all over the country. You've been mentioned in the New York Times, mm -hmm. kind of a big deal. Um, if we're gonna get hyper-local, our guy Ian Frobe yes. put you on his what, top 100 list. Yeah. He does not mess around, so that's huge. <laughs> I mean, where else? What else would people be surprised to know that you got a feature? Um, just, uh, I mean, those are the two big ones. Mm -hmm. um, we are gonna be on A&E uh, soon. So yeah, there's a cooking uh, series we're gonna be on. Um, you know, that's cool, you know, for like our first year, we'll take it. It's, it's pretty I, awesome. Seriously, <laughs> Let, let's, just, let's just relish in that for a minute. Look all that you have accomplished in one year. Dare it's, I ask, uh, like, what's next? What's on the horizon? You guys ever even <laughs> dream that Terror Tacos would be a real thing over that, you know, shot of whiskey or two? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, we we were just going to be happy to be able to, you know, pay our bills and, you know, make it work. And, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. We have some, we we have a great staff now. What are you looking what for? What would you like, sir? Jalapenos. Ooh. So we're going to put uh, spicy. some fresh diced jalapenos in here and some pickled jalapenos. I love how bright and fresh and bold and beautiful, everything is here right in front of me. My gosh. Need some sauce? Yeah, sauce. Your metabolism must be through the roof <laughs> with all this hot sauce. Are you kidding? And so talk about- You do about, like spicy. I, I can tell, I, I applaud that. Um, what else are you doing in the community? I know there's been a, a Steve's Hot Dogs collaboration. Yep. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we really uh, love collaborating. So uh, recently there was Steve's um, hot dogs, where we did the Darth Satan mm -hmm. vegan hot dog. Um, we've uh, done a couple of things with Pizza Head. Um, oh, fun. And uh, recently we had a Wandering Yeti, uh, the vegan ice cream uh, pop up, uh, did an amazing event at our restaurant where we um, collaborated on some ingredients and did a couple of kind of one off uh, ice cream flavors. Um, and uh, we've also done. Uh, a super fun one with our, our good friends at 1207. They're another vegan restaurant in town. No way. They're in a U City. Um, so yeah, we're always looking to team up, always looking to f try to find, you know, local creative uh, chefs or, or even not chefs, just people that want to yeah. do something fun with us, so. Totally. Yep. And so for those people that maybe haven't been in this space, um, is it a place where people could have a big party there? Or do mm -hmm. you do catering? Or is it more of like a date night or come in with some friends type of thing? Oh, it's totally a date night if you wanna, <laughs> you know, rock out to some metal. <laughs> um, I would take my date there. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so yeah, we, um, we do catering. Cool. Um, and we've done quite a few catering gigs, some pretty big ones. We've done a couple of weddings. Um, we've got a couple of weird <gasps> ideas to do, maybe some themed out events. Um, so that's, you know, coming shortly. Love it. So keep it weird, South Grand. Right. I think that is so cool. You guys, I'm just so in awe that this was simply an idea, what, a little over a year ago. And here we are. Can you here even put into words? <laughs> like, you guys did it. There's I'm just so that. proud of you guys. You know, often you just get, you get so buried in how much work it takes to run a restaurant, you know, but then you have those moments where you realize, you know, I. Like we did this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. You know, it's we are very proud of, of of what we've done for sure. So dare I ask, do either of you read your reviews? Yes. Everyone they're of them. good. I'm telling <laughs> you, spoiler alert. Um, no, I love when you read that someone like popped in to grab a taco for their vegan friend and ended up ordering all this food for themselves. Like yeah. what? Holy smokes. Does one person usually eat this? I'm not judging, I'm just asking. <laughs> you know, yes, but we, we do get a lot of uh, requests for to-go boxes, which uh, we do have, so. Wow. 
what would you wash down if this was <laughs> in front of you? Margaritas. Margaritas. Okay. Yeah, we have a Talk good about this full bar yeah. you have. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a few different styles of margaritas. Uh, we have some themed cocktails, um, such as the Blackened Whiskey Thrash, where we use Metallica whiskey. It's kind of what? like an old-fashioned. Um, we have uh, a few absinthe style drinks. Um, everything kind of has a theme to it, so mm -hmm. uh, we, we're trying Jeez. to have fun with the... With I feel the, like we're in the operating room. Jeez, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's a... We're building our bar program. We're working on it, so it's, it's incredible, coming along. Incredible, incredible. I mean, oh, are we getting close? All right, that's yeah, looking... we're almost there. So I'm gonna throw on some uh, crispy jalapenos. Oh, my favorite. You know, you can't find those a lot of places, so I'm really glad yeah. that you showed up today with a batch of those. And then our red hot riplets. We're just gonna crush up and go on here. <laughs> You, again, you guys are so similar to Steve's Hot Dogs because things that you never, ever, ever think should or would be involved in a taco <laughs> or a burrito, that's who you guys are. And I yep. think, I know that you are so authentic and that's the vibe. I feel like when I walk into Terror Tacos, it's gonna be you guys the same as you are now. <laughs> you just keep it real, right? That's right. <laughs> I think that's awesome. All right. Oh my gosh. I need that's that so second tortilla. And tortilla flying in. Because we have a, a very large burrito. This is a so. two tortilla situation <laughs> for sure. Do you have a favorite menu item? Yes. Um, well, I, I do really like our birria tacos, mm -hmm. um, but we my favorite menu item is our taco called the Death Wish. Oh, and it's our sweet. <laughs> spicy chorizo taco um, with three different types of jalapenos in it. Yeah. Um, one of them is a cheddar jalapeno popper that's in the middle. And it's a double layer taco with our terror sauce. Um, it's super delicious. It's a little spicy, um, which a is what spicy. we like. A little spicy. I'm sorry. Three jalapenos. <laughs> it's good. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You're up. What's your favorite? It's a long shift. You are oh. starving. You need a bite of fill in the blank. Probably our uh, our heartburn burrito. Talk about that. Yeah. So our heartburn burrito is actually. Um, a special burrito that we came up with, one of my favorite metal bands, uh, the oh. vocalist passed away. So oh. it was kind of a tribute to him. So we named it uh, the Nocturnal Heartburn, which is off of my favorite album. And then he had heartburn tattooed across his stomach. But <laughs> so we, we did um, a donation for a percentage of the proceeds uh, went to the suicide hotline. Oh, that's amazing. So it was a, that's just a amazing. special thing for Very us. Very important. So, and it is a- uh, It's eating time. Yeah, favorite time. We are of almost the day. there. So I didn't, I did not acknowledge what you just did here. I thought it was finished over there on the plate. You're like, oh wait, there's more. No, we we grill all of our burritos Whoa. just to give them a little, a little you know, extra, extra texture, make them nice and hot, and then yeah, we're gonna throw some stuff on top of this. And, so uh, tell me this, you guys. You've mentioned this terrorized sauce and a few mm -hmm. other things that are you all made. This mm -hmm. is in house. Can you buy it by the batch? Can you buy jars of it? Is that down the road? We're, it's, it's down the road, for sure. Yeah, we get a lot of requests for um, our vegan cheese. We I actually bet. have a, a gluten-free vegan cheese that's nut-free, which what? is, you know, when, when we started, I, I came up with this checklist of things that I really wanted to accomplish because it's, it's hard to find those things. And yeah. there's a lot of people that, with allergies, they can't have that kind of stuff. So. And do you know how appreciative those people are when they come <laughs> in? They're like, oh, my people, my food, I don't have to ask in a weird way. It's all here. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I can see that terrorized sauce just flying off the shelf. So I'm just thinking ahead for it's you. Guys. In works. It's <laughs> in the works. It's in the works. I believe it. I believe it. All right. I'm going to let Brian finish the garnish on this. So we're going right. to put some more buffalo sauce on there. Because we don't have enough. Let's just kick <laughs> right. it up. Okay. So did you make this buffalo sauce? We did not make the buffalo sauce. Uh, it's okay. We have our limits. Okay. No, I feel you. I feel you. Small ya. kitchen. That is um, absolutely smothered. Yeah. So you guys, Jalapenos. you are lunch and dinner right now, yes. is that correct? Lunch and dinner currently. No breakfast? No breakfast. We, we, do, uh, we do brunch, Sunday brunches um, for, for a season. Got so it. during the summertime, oh, that's uh, we'll cool. likely bring that back. Oh my gosh. What and else then, now, uh, the, the more ranch. More ranch. And uh, horrible flakes. 
Can you share the ranch recipe since I trust that it's <laughs> not real ranch? It is not real ranch. Uh, so we make our own uh, sour cream in house, which is, it's a soy based product. Oh, cool. Um, so we basically, yeah, it's, it's a soy based ranch that we have. Sometimes I get wild at home and I add taco seasoning to Greek yogurt. I know, hold on to your hats. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, is it time? It is time. Okay, who's gonna cut into this bad all right, boy? All right, you got it. <laughs> I'll go for it. Let's yeah, I, I, I trust you. I need adult supervision sometimes. I mean, seriously, that's bigger than both of our heads put together. Yeah, they're Spread that burritos. around. Oh my gosh. In thirds, and we'll all share. All right. <laughs> Here we go. This is bonkers. Okay, should we knife and fork Some it up? Forks. And I forgot we still have Stuff our terror tacos. tacos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna kind of cut into the middle here because this is just like a lot. I don't know, but what are you guys gonna eat? There's just not enough here. So. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, I'm getting in, I'm going in. <laughs> I feel like I need water standing by. Okay, okay. It is spicy. See if I can hang. <laughs> Help yourself, gentlemen. Right. You worked hard on this. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Okay, that ranch is bonkers. <laughs> cool. Thank okay, you. now you know what? It hits you about 12 seconds <laughs> in. Yeah. Gotta have the ranch. Oh, wow. Pull it down just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give my little palate a break here. <laughs> May I try yes. the terror taco? Okay. I had to reset. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. Here, I'll put it over the plate so I don't make even more of a mess. All right, here we go. Coming in. Mmm. Mm mm. <laughs> you nailed it, you guys. I appreciate that there are two tortillas on here too. I could see, I see it now. cilantro yeah. everywhere. We don't want a disaster. <laughs> you guys, this has been so much fun. I love learning about new places like this that are just so authentically driven. And I think that just nails it, you guys. I've had so much fun here today with Bradley and Brian, my new BFFs from Terror Tacos. You guys, you do not have to be vegan to enjoy an incredible, spicy <laughs> burrito tortilla bring your friends bring your families bring a date this place is awesome check out south grand also follow them on social media they've got some really fun stuff going on there videos photos they're just awesome and i think that translates very well online check out their website too call them if you want to make a reservation you can always do that thank you both yes, for taking time for to hang us. with me yeah, you taught me a lot a lot so that's gonna do it, you guys. We are gonna wind down. I will definitely finish this burrito in like five minutes. So we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to STL TV, where you get to experience St. Louis. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.